welcome back to Mala Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Rache. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. This week, I have a bit of a different type of a haul for you today. <laughs> Sometimes, vintage just doesn't go as planned. So, um, typically, I do a lot of styling content here. There's not a lot to style. But if you do like styling content, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family. And so I'm just going to go straight into the come thrift with me. And then we'll come back here and I'll show you what I did get. So I wanted to jump in here with a quick announcement. I've been promising a Wednesday video for a while and I just really needed the time and um, move some things around to make two videos a week possible. But starting next Wednesday will be the first of my Wednesday fashion video series. So please look out for that. It'll be Wednesday at five along with my thrifted um, content Friday at five. So it's Wednesday and Friday at 5 p.m. So please look out for that. I'm not sure if you saw last week's video. I'll link it here, but let's go into the haul now and see what I got. So this week, my total was 38.31. And as you saw, I, you know, I went through a good amount of the sections. And even though I have a very long receipt, I don't have, I only have one item of clothing. So this is, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and where do I start? All right, I'll start with the most randomy type items. So the first thing I got is this um, like suit bag. I don't know if you remember or if you saw that video where I got that um, fur cape. I want to make sure that I store it in a nice um, aerated bag, but you know, protect that little fur situation so i thought i'd pick this up i use i got one of these recently but i use it for a longer coat so i was happy to find this this was 349 so a practical purchase it will come in very handy so the next thing that i got i mean they're still under you know clothing and fashion just more on the practical sense just like the coat bag situation the next thing i got is this wooden, I believe they just call it shoe stretcher or shoe extender, but this is the next thing I got. I loved uh, the solid wood. I love that you had this little thing to put it up with. Um, and the reason I got this, I have a pair of um, booties, like combat booties. Let me get it. So I have these pair of combat booties. Now, the, because they're, you know, new and I haven't broken them in, I need to keep them with one of these shoe stretchers inside because each time I wear it, it will be nice and comfy. The minute I take it out, it's not as comfy. 
and I don't want my feet to break them in. <laughs> so I did have um, a shoe stretcher in here, but the last time I wore it, I don't know, I don't know where I put them. I have no idea where I put them and I can't, now that it's spring, this is when I like to wear this like tan combat boots and, but I just couldn't wear it because without the extender in it, my feet are like, it's, it's just very stiff on my feet. So that's what I had in mind when I picked those up. So now I can, you know, put these in and probably in about a day or two, I'll be, I'll be able to wear those. So that's... <laughs> for my shoe stretcher thing and this was $2.99 so a really good price for a wooden pair because um, looking on the ones on Amazon I think they were probably $10 so to get this um, nice wooden pair for $3 I think is really good so that's the next thing I got. Now the only clothing item I got are these pair of pants and it's just a black pants these this i got in the boys section i like just a nice high-waisted straight leg pants i do have other black pants but they were they're a thicker material but going into spring summer i still like to wear like dress pants um with like a button down with sneakers or sandals or you know dress them up dress them down even with a tank top i love wearing dress pants you know when the weather gets really muggy even jeans can like stick to your skin. So I do love to have a few just relaxed pants. And so I picked this up. So, you know, this is like a boy's size 18. I usually wear about a 16, but I wanted, I wasn't sure about this. It looks pretty narrow. So I just decided I'd go with this size 18. So yeah, this is by Alberto Danelli. This is what the label looks like. Alberto Danelli. But yeah, so just a nice, relaxed, lightweight um, dress pants from the boys section. <laughs> so next up, I did get a little vintage bag and it is this little gold and like cream, you know that, oh, what do you call this? It's like a chain, it's like a metal link type bag but i just really liked the shape of this there's a lot of the um shell type but those are very narrow so you wouldn't be able to hold a phone in here can i actually fit my phone? yeah so i could actually fit my phone in this and i just loved the little tassel right here i love the little chevron-esque print on it and it's just different from the other typical ones i used to see and yeah it does hold my phone if nothing else <laughs> fits quite snug inside um i might be able to fit a key in there and a few cards but yeah it fits actually really really perfectly inside so um this is what it looks like it does have um it does have this little back pocket here and two other little oh one other little front pocket here so it has two inside like pockets you know the card could go in here and whatever else and the, the you know because it has like a little one inch or one and a half inch depth you know it does have a, it, it has enough space i think i also love this like um copper satin lining inside i just really 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 loved this bag this cost six dollars so really really cute for six dollars so <laughs> And this I think would look great with like jeans and a white t-shirt um, with some heels just for you know more of a daytime um, brunch cocktail situation it would still work not just for evening you know finally because I was having no luck I wandered over to the jewelry section I forgot that they had um, a jewelry and accessories section so I got a few things I think you saw me try on the bracelet i did end up getting the bracelet because i just thought um also with white this would look really cute as well yeah so i you know i got this little is that like a pearl and brass like a pearl shell and brass um type thing i think would be perfect for summer coming up and the last two things that i got are a pair of earrings and this is the first one. This is like a vintage 
Erin just has like a little knob here and then a pearl drop, which I think will also be really good for spring summer. And the last thing I got is another like vintagey type pearl and gold earring and it's this one. Hopefully you can see that. And I really just love like this little <laughs> almost like art deco -y type design to it. And you know, they're nice, um, a nice size so it won't be like heavy, just like casual with like dressing up a t-shirt with these type of things. And each of these were um, $3.99, so $4, so not bad at all. I just loved this little vintage um, design with a little pearl and gold. So yeah, those are the final things that I got. Actually, I have two more items. I completely forgot about these because I was trying to see if they fit. So <laughs> two items but the same category, I found two belts, the first of which is this one i just love this little square um buckle here i love a gold tone buckle a nice distinct um buckle design as well i love this taupey color i have a lot of like black belts brown belts caramelly belts <clears throat> but i love that this is light so if i'm wearing like white it'll keep it nice and neutral um and not take it one way or another for the look and this was $3.99, $4. And the final thing that I found was this belt. I loved the design of this buckle. And even though they were both, you know, the same color, this one is a cooler um, taupey <laughs> tone. <laughs> but I, because the buckles were so distinctly different, I decided to get both of them. This is also $3.99. So that is the end of the haul. So I'll do some close-ups um, or some cutaways of these so you can see what they look like on as well. The only other thing that was really tempting, there was a coat, like that two-sided um, thing that I tried on, jacket thing that I tried on. It just didn't fit well. It didn't hang. There was no button. So it should have, for something that had no buttons, it should have really just hung on you and there was just no weight it was I don't know it wasn't it was it felt more like a polyester type knockoff to something that should have been like a substantial silk coat I don't know if it it just didn't work so as much as I love the colors of it especially the green side it just didn't feel comfortable on so I decided not to get that so I'll try on the hands for you and I'll do some cutaways so you can see the jewelry up close and possibly in better lighting. Um, so yeah, so that is <laughs> my haul. So since I only have one piece of clothing item, I'll try to start at least two ways so you can see what I had in mind. The first is just this casual but smart look and I'm wearing it with this um, stripe like Breton type top and I've push the sleeves up a little bit, you know, to keep that casual vibe. Um, right now I'm wearing it without a belt because I think it's, you know, helps to make it casual, but the waist is a little big, so I'd probably have to put a belt on. I have this little um, Bottega dupe, and I'm wearing a pair of Manolo, um, what do you call these, kitten heel mules. And so just for a nice little casual evening look, this will be great, but I just put the belt on because I could feel it slipping <laughs> down my waist and this just makes it a little more dressed up for the look. And so this is the first look. It's getting a little warmer, a very cozy and comfortable, um, but very elevated look. So this is <laughs> how I style these pants and oh my goodness, I love the fit on these nice straight leg i love where it drops um it'll be great for not only heels but flats so i'm glad i'm glad i picked this up yeah the boys the boys pants are <laughs> the best shape to be because i don't have huge hips so the shape that they have works out perfectly for my body type <laughs> i can also just do it nice and slouchy with uh just a striped shirt and some sneakers. These are by, this striped shirt is by Express. I've had it 
for ages. These shoes are by, sneakers are by Isabelle Marant, and I just love the length, just perfectly works for sneakers as well. So I love, love, love this pants. I could just, you know, grab a big hobo bag. This is my giant <laughs> Gucci jacket. And just to keep it nice and casual, this is also what I had in mind. This is probably gonna be more like an everyday staple for these pants for me for, you know, summer when I wanna, when I want to dress up the casual a little bit. But this is, yeah, this is what I had in mind for these. I'll try to take the waist up a little bit because then without a belt, it would even be more slouchy, but I do love a belt. So <laughs> this is the final look, guys. And I still have in this little drop earring. I think this also is going to be perfect for like every day, whereas the other one is a little more intricate. Um, if I'm wearing something even more uh, casual like a t-shirt etc that one will work well or even like a nice white dress they're just so very versatile so I loved this haul even though it was such a mishmash <laughs> well this everything but the kitchen sink basically is what I got so this is the final look guys and <laughs> don't forget to tune in on Wednesday for you know some more fashion content which I can control a little better the thrift stores I can't control what I find so I hope you love this video and um, I'll see you guys I'll see you guys for Wednesday styling, okay? <laughs> so guys, I said thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join me on Wednesday for um, my first Wednesday video as well. If you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love for you to join the family. And if you like this video, please give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next one.